Right guys, welcome to another episode of Go Detecting. I'm out in Weirdale, there's Wolsingham down there with the northeast searchers. We have Pavel there and David. Um, first hole, just had a little bit of rubbish, but uh, we'll see how we get on. Hopefully, I'll get back to you with some more interesting finds. Catch you at the next. Well, first hole, just all bottled up. Okay, see you there. Okay, next hole, big bundle of wire. Alright, on to the next. Okay, so the history of this land is very much medieval. Um, 14th, 15th century. I've got this in the hole. First I thought it was like a pot mend, but I'm not so sure now. It's lead. If anyone knows what that is, then let me know. That would be appreciated. Might have to post it on the Facebook page, all things lead. But not a clue. But it is next to this old well tracked Go down there. It's a very deep hole. So, who knows? Anyway, only got a few hours today. Wife's letting me out till 12. So I'd better get on. I'll see you at the next. A lovely bright signal and it's the first moo tube of the day, a cow tube. Alright, see you on the next one. Sometimes you've just got to dig the crud to find the good. Okay, decent signal, let's out. Piece of lead. Oh, things we do for lead. Yep. It's just a lump of lead. Or is it a pewter? And oh, it might be a pewter handle. All right. Okay. Catch up the next one. Okay, next hole. And it's a bullet cartridge. Ah, gave a good signal. Never mind. Keep going. See you at the next one. Okay, out this hole. Got this coin. Just see the, the, the bottom line here. So. Where Britannia sits. A bit crusty on that side. But uh, yeah, probably an old farthing or something like that, half penny maybe. Okay, cool. First coin of the day, get in. Okay, next one. Found this, and this, and I think, sorry guys, too much looking at myself, I think that bit. See you the next. Right guys, <clears throat> on my way back to the car now. Just had this signal. Oops. Just had this signal here. Some kind of little brooch or badge. But look at that, how pretty is that? Lovely little crown in. in the middle of a boy. Don't know the age of it. modern I should expect but still very very nice all the same 
Okay, if I don't get anything else on the way back to the car, I will catch you up in the roundup. See you later. Hi guys, and welcome to the roundup of Go Detecting. I only had a couple of hours to do today with the northeast searchers. We're up at Wolsingham, where I used to live, so it was quite nice to go back in the fields above, uh, overlooking Wolsingham, which was lovely. Um, there wasn't many uh, old finds today, uh, before I left at lunchtime anyway. Um, but there was an old, you know, far, there's been farms there, an old farmhouse buildings from 1400s onwards. So there was a fair chance of getting something. I'll show you what I've got today. So, in the roundup, as you find on any farms, bundles of wire, all part of a toy or something, it's got a bit of a blue paint on it. Huge iron ring. I think that must be uh, belong to Giant's Posey ring, do you reckon, guys? I don't know. It's huge. Smaller ring. Uh, tent tarpaulin. It's junk, metal cap that you saw I think on the video, with a metal cap, bit of tin foil, uh, bottle cap with the glass. Again, if you think they're getting into detecting, please wear gloves that are sitting in the hall. Um, molten metal. I always drop things in the roundup. Some of the kids at school take the mick out of me being butterfingers, I tell you what. But yeah, molten metal, interesting lumps. And the new tube, so that's all the kind of rubbish and the inevitable bits of cork that don't give the burps and the, the, the farts on, on the gold and the mask that I used today. So some of the finds, just the bullet cartridge. We've got a bit of lead tubing, which has been squashed. Don't know what that could have been used for. The pewter handle, you can just see the ridge running down up there, the spoon or fork's well gone. This uh, possible clothes fastener, strap end, maybe it's clothes fastener, I don't know, um, looks quite fragile. Trying to get the camera in the light. It's not working very well. How about this way? There we go. Just point the camera out the light through. Um, but yeah, it's in two pieces. Uh, came up like that. Could have been a hook on that end. I was used to maybe to fasten some large pieces of clothing. Had this lead object that I originally thought might have been a pot mend, but if you see it's kind of joined on there, and the pot mend wouldn't have been. Um, but Pat Law says it's uh, like a clank valve off, it would have been covered in leather and that would have been sit, sat in a pump and it would have pr pushed the water or the air down inside the pump um, and funnily enough I did find it near that old well on the video um, so it could well be off a valve from a pump interesting find here was my uh, one of my only coins of the day and if I put it that way, you'll see George the second. You can just see the Georgie Vs. And then the two, the second bits there, and he's got his little spiky fringe. And there, his face is a bit gone. And then the Britannia. There we go, but the fingers through. <laughs> God's sake. It's so hard doing you. Not to drop things, and there is Britannia. So that's a farthing, a George the Second farthing. She's got holding up like a, a fern or something in her right hand, um, but you can't really see it very well. Apologise for the shoddy camera work. So they were from like the mid 17th century, so uh, 1700. Sorry, 18th century. That is so 1700s, like 1730s, things like that. George the Second farthing. Pretty cool, oldest coin of the day. And then this was what I found at the end. An old enameled, got blue and white enamel on and a crown in the centre. I'm starting to think maybe it was um, maybe some coronation memorabilia or something like that. 
little badge or a brooch, something like that. Not very valuable and quite modern, I would have thought, but pretty interesting all the same. So, yeah, just a few hours. Nothing uh, overly special today. But you can't always get them. And I always tell people, you know, you can watch people on YouTube and you can watch people on Facebook that have fantastic permissions just getting fines all the time. Um, unless you get that, you're not going to find great stuff. It's all about getting on the right land and then all you have to do is walk over it with your detector and hopefully you'll find it. Um, so it doesn't really matter which detector you get. Whether I've got a Garrett AS250, XP Deus and a Golden Mask 4 Pro. I like to use all, well I mainly use the Deus. Um, and the golden mask, but it's nice to get out sometimes with the garret. Honestly, they will find things if you go over them. So, please subscribe, like the video, keep watching, and remember, you've got to dig the crud to find the good. Now, uh, I'm up to getting close to 450 subscribers, so I'm thinking of having a bit of a competition, and the winner will win a Go Detecting t-shirt. I'm getting some uh, Go Detecting memorabilia put together uh, with the logo on the front and uh, slogan on the back you've got to dig the crud to get the good um, so if you'd like to uh, think that's a good idea and you'd like to, to maybe have a chance of getting one please comment and let me know alright bye for now